Hey guys, welcome to Code Decode. So in this video, we are going to cover another interview question on data structure and algorithm. And previously, we have covered these two interview questions. And today, we are going to cover the third interview question that is Pascal triangle. So before jumping into the problem statement, first we'll try to understand what the Pascal triangle is all about. And also why we are covering this question because this question has been asked in many interviews. And uh, this is a very important question. Although this is a easy level question of lead code. That is a question number 118, but still it is a very important question because it has been asked many times in the interviews. So let's see what the Pascal triangle is all about. Please like, share and subscribe this channel. Your single like, share and subscribe will promote this video to YouTube algorithm and this video will reach to many people. In this way you can support us. So please like, share and subscribe. Okay, so what is Pascal triangle? So Pascal triangle is a triangle which contains some number which has been organized in form of some order. So what are their orders and how they are organized? So I have observed three points in this Pascal triangle. The first point is the first and last number is always one. So if you can clearly see the first and last number of every row is always one. And the number of rows is equal to the number of columns. So the number of rows and number of column is always same. For example, for the first row, the number of column is one. For the second row, the number of column is two and so on. For the last row, that is the, for the fifth row, the number of column is five. And the element which is in the middle position, that is which is not at the last and the first position is always equal to the sum of their previous element and the previous to previous element. For example, let's talk about this six. So how this six has come. So six is the sum of three plus three. So the position of this six here is two. So this, so this is the position of J index and this is the sum of j minus one that is the first index and the second index of previous row j -th position is j minus one plus j so that is the condition of every middle element i'm not talking about the six this is the condition of every middle element if whether you will talk about this two whether you will talk about this three three is also a sum of two plus one four is also a sum of three plus one and so on. So that is all about the Pascal triangle. So now let's jump into the problem statement and see what the problem statement is all about. Okay. So we have given an integer num rows and we have to return the first num rows of the Pascal triangle. Uh, in Pascal triangle, each number is the sum of two numbers directly above as shown in the figure. So we have already discussed that what Pascal triangle is all about. So let's suppose we have given an input number five. We have to return this list of arrays. So we have written this list of arrays, which contains the number in the Pascal triangle. So for example, we have this five rows. So num rows is equal to five. So what we have to return, we have to return a list of lists, which contain something like this. We have to return this values in the form of list. So one comma one. So this would be our output. So how we can achieve this? Let's try to run some intuition. Okay, so we have given num rows as five and we have to return this output. So this output will be in the form of list of list and uh, what intuition we can develop while seeing this output input and this Pascal triangle. So I can say that that I have to iterate through every row and every column. So let's say that we have row as i and column is j. So I have to iterate first every row like this and then every column like this. Right. And I can totally say that the number of rows is equal to number of column for I. So for example, for at, at first row, the number of column is one. For the second row, the number of column is two for the third row the number of column is three and so on. So what we'll do is first I'll write one for loop for int I is equal to zero. I less than number row and i plus plus and inside that for loop i'll write another loop ij is equal to zero ij less than equal to i j plus plus so why i have used two loops because i have to reach to all of these elements and inside this element i'll check if j is equal to is equal to zero that is the if the j is first index this first index if j is equal to is equal to y that is if j is last index this one then i'll take one list that is the current list and i'll add one to that list 
because I want only one. I don't want any other number. Else, let's assume that I am at this row, that is the third row, and I have stored this element in another list called as pre. So in the else condition, I'll again add current list dot add, and inside that, I'll do pre dot get j minus one plus pre dot get j. So if I am at this position, so what I am doing is I am adding this number and I am adding this number. Similarly, if I am at this position, so what I am doing is I am adding this number and I am adding this number. And if I am at this position, I am adding this number and I am adding this number. And after this iteration, I'll update my previous list with the current list because I am moving at this uh, row. So my previous would be this in the main list, which would be the list of list. I'll add current and at the end I'll return this main list. It is that simple. Okay, so what would be the time complexity? So the time complexity would be O of n square because we are using two for loop. One is the outer for loop and one is the inner for loop. So that's why the time complexity is O of n square. And the space complexity is we have, we are going to use one uh, list of list and two lists. That is one is the current list and one is the previous list. So the space complexity would be O of n square plus two O of n. That would be O of n square. So this is time complexity and this is space complexity. So now let's jump into the code and see how we can do this in Java. So here I'm going to write uh, one method that is Pascal triangle and I'm going to take one integer argument as num rows. So first I'm going to declare one main list, which is the list of lists which we are going to re return as a result. Now I am going to take two lists. One is the current list and one is the previous list. Both are list of integers. And currently I'm going to initialize with null because uh, in the for loop, we are going to initialize the current list with the new array list because each time we have to store this current list into the main list according to the computation of previous list. Now I am going to iterate one for loop and I am going to iterate till num rows. So these are the number of rows which we are iterating. Now we have to iterate the number of columns. So I am going to iterate another for loop which will be from j is equal to 0 and which will be till j less than equal to i. And now we are going to check whether our jth element is the first element or if it is the last element, then we are going to insert one in the current list. Okay, so before adding this, we will going to initialize the current list here. Now, if our jth element is not the first and last element, if it is one of the middle element, then what we are going to do is we are going to take the previous list and we are going to sum the j -1 and the j element. Once the inner for loop is completed, we will assign the current list to the previous list. Now we are going to return the main list. Okay, so our code is completed. Now let's try to dry run. So I am putting a debug point here and I am putting a debug point here and here. So as you can clearly see our num rows is 5 and in the first iteration, it only one is going to add as you can clearly see here in the main list only one is added so in this way our pascal triangle is formed and we are going to get the result as you can clearly see here we can improve the solution uh, we can remove this previous list and with the use of main list we can add the previous element into the current list how we can do this let's see so currently i am removing this previous list and I'm taking the previous main list and taking the previous element and previous to previous element. I'm commenting this also. So let's check whether we are getting the same result or not. So as you can clearly see, we are getting the same result and we have also eliminated one extra space of this list. Although the space complexity is still O of n square because we are using the main list. Now let's cross check the result of our solution with the actual Pascal triangle. So the last row is 14641 here 14641 and the second last is 1331 second last is 1331 so this is all about pascal triangle 
in the next video we are going to cover missing numbers which is problem number uh, 268 on lead code and similarly we are going to follow all this question please comment in this video that you have understood this problem and you are following the series your comment motivate us to create more videos like that so till then bye bye